Hi everyone, Albar here, and welcome back to my uh, Vecna Unleashed uh, single segment run, first look, I guess, of all the quests and all the content. So, major spoilers if you're not interested in that. Well, sorry, and eventually I'll be doing my proper look through either playthroughs or walkthrough and guide. But for now, I'm just trying to go through it as fast as possible because I want to get as much favor as possible. So, we're going to be doing it on Heroic Elite, and yeah, I just want to see. What I notice on the way, and yeah, just go through it. So let's go. Oh, well, heroic elite. You arrive at the entrance to a training camp for the Lord of Blade soldiers, the agreed upon meeting place for your conversation with Doris. Yeah, I think I've done this one. Yeah. I've done this one already on uh, Ahead, La Mania. You see your sometimes ally, Doris, now a war-forged titan. She's attended by some blade-forged and a large iron defender. Clearly, she has risen in the ranks since coming to the Mornlands to follow the Lord of Blades. Doris has arranged an audience with the Lord of Blades for you. But in exchange, she's tasked you with training one of their recently uncovered weapons from the last war. You need to take the Iron Defender out and let it roam free across the glass plateau. The Blade Hound in training stretches and lets out a metallic yip. He's all ready to go. You step out of the Dimension Door and into the desolate landscape of the glass plateau. Yeah, so this is a glints yeah, everywhere you protection look. quest, one of those. From the grounds beneath your feet Escort missions. to spires that jut into the sky. Model 8912F fidgets enthusiastically beside you. The Iron Defender is eager to begin its daily training on the plains. A horde of undead creatures stands frozen. It's as if they're locked in a memory. I like that there's red dots on the map showing you where the monsters spawned in. Because you can't move on before you kill them. And it can be very annoying if you're missing like one monster and you're like stuck because the map will progress. And having that one, uh, that red dot on the map telling you where it is is essential. Yeah, some of these things don't activate. I guess they all don't activate until the dog is close to them. I don't know what happens if he dies. Yeah, this is an optional. A white think. and a cluster of undead followers rise up, ready to attack. The remains of the undead I want this one from a monster man. The glassy ground. The pets, the whatever it is, my escort mission seems to be uh, healed by my uh, aura, so. I'm happy about that. I'm glad they didn't make it like, oh, it's repair and you can't feel from it. Sends a chill down your spine. The wind whistles as it runs past. Yes, this is the way. An army of specters emerges from beneath the glass that covers their final resting place. 
Not really sure what this place is supposed to be, but whatever. This is for the... This note over here is for the... Hey, move out. Three, one, two, four. It's supposed to be the solution for the upcoming puzzle. What am I missing? I guess the way opens up behind me. Yep. I'm glad the dog teleports to you. You don't have to keep on waiting for him to show up. Overall, I've got to say it's probably one of the better escort missions. I'm not sure how this is going to scale on high difficulties, but whatever. It's nice to see some uh, meteor swarms and some other living spells that are not in the subterrain. If you want to farm them for your monster manual. Bombarded by waves of heat. They billow from the lava pools, dotting this clearing. Basically, I'm looking at the map while I'm playing, and I'm like trying to see the red dots and clear them out. Should be everyone. A cluster of floating. See if stones I can do this before the dog shows up. Above a circle of lava, the last stone glows. Yes. It hovers into place, opening a passage to the west. Stand still. Don't move. There gotta be some kind of a picture in there. Let's move on. Which way did I come in this place? Okay, I guess this is the way that has been opened. Probably could buff a bit, but like, why bother? Hey, look, resurrection and restaurant. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. You see a gigantic figure formed out of molten glass standing atop an island in the pool of lava. When it notices you, the massive form lunges forward. Well, exterminator? Fine. You find yourself back at the dimension door where you first arrived. You're ready okay. to return to the Lord of Blades camp with a satisfied okay, fine. Iron Defender in tow. You return the Iron Defender to Doris after a successful day training on the Glass Plateau. Hey, that was like Doris one half the mission. 
I guess your meaty little brain was good enough for something as simple as this. She opens a portal to the Lord of Blades' current location. I've kept up my end of the bargain, but it's not my fault if he obliterates you for daring to impose. <laughs> Until we meet again, fleshy. Rumbling chants can be heard issuing from further down this barren canyon. Oh, it's likely the Lord of Blades soldiers. Yeah, when I did this on Lamania, I totally An missed of the, Lord of Blades uh, bows the markings. The, sun. the Lord of Blades himself presides over them, standing before a metal throne. The Lord of Blades tells you that a group of fleshlings have broken into an abandoned manufactory nearby. He asks you to stop them from plundering what the Warforged consider one of their birthplaces. The Warforged Renegade speaks in his steely, imposing voice. Those fleshlings have the impudence to walk in our sacred halls. Though that factory has fallen to ruin, whatever is inside belongs to the Warforged alone. He directs you towards your destination. Okay, let's see. A corridor to the west. The inside of this manufactory Blue is smells red diamond. Of toxic chemicals and the grease from defunct machinery. You immediately spot the intruders, a squad of hidden hand thieves who have come to uncover the facility's secrets. Blue is red diamond. Let's see what other calls I can find. Red. Okay, it's not the spiky one style thing. Okay, fine. See if I can find all the little uh, hidden things. More hidden hand cultists. Truth is, I don't need all of them. This group is accompanied by an iron defender. They scavenge for the ruins. The Iron Defender collapses in disrepair. Okay, Yellow X. No doubt a Lord of Blade soldier will come to retrieve it once all the cultists have been cleared out. You find a locked yeah, door. Yeah, next one. It seems to require a spoken passcode to open. Stationary gears line the walls of this chamber. Yeah, let's see. see Red no. containing the door's password in the far no. back. Blue blocked by a magic barrier. Was this thing? Red was blue. That the first set of wheels. Okay, the yellow place. was X. And then purple, I guess it just spin until it clicks. The second set of wheels. There we go. Clicks into place. See the code six one nine five three. Found the passcode that opens the door in the hall. Here's how I do this thing. I always just go to my general, and then it just tells me what it is. Control C, forward slash, say, Control V, enter. The door. Go back to my combat tab. There we go. Another group of hidden hand disciples huddled in the dark. They stand in front of what appears to be long lost weapons. One of the cultists calls out as you approach. Ha! So, another fool seeks the secrets of this metal tomb. Too bad. I'm always weary of uh, quests that have mechanics that you can break accidentally by running too fast. Hidden weapons. At their command, the machines roar to life. The Lord of Blades raises his fist and declares, A vow has been made. When the time comes, Scepter, corrosion, I will acid. My aid against this intruder god. Yet your quality wizardry. Okay, fine. On your own shoulders. You have struck a deal with the Lord of Blades. 
Now to return okay. to Morgrave. Thirteen continue minutes. Continue your preparations against Fetna. Fine. Next one. Enemy of my enemy. Oh, yeah, I've done this one also. Just to get the green hat again. A familiar hat stands next to a nondescript door. He gestures for you to join him. The this doesn't open. No. that you speak to Lady Ilmero's assistant, while they speak to Lady Ilmero in private. The assistant tells you that you may join Lady Ilmero in the office. As you enter the office. You see the Traveler having a conversation with a shadowy form. This must be Lady Ilmero. She glares at you as you approach. The unexpected sound of shouts comes from the room you were just in. Intruders! To your amazement, Lady Ilmero emits a burst of deadly magic that cuts down the intruders. Her shape changes. How dare they enter here! How dare they make demands of me? Let this be a warning to all who follow this insolent new god. This is no ordinary elf woman. This is the legendary lich, Lady Vol. Take this portal. It will bring you close Last time I met Lady Vol, we were in a uh, Mark of Death. To bypass and I was soloing it. Claim it for yourself. You emerge from the portal and find yourself in a narrow maze of alleyways somewhere in the Greywall district. Trash everywhere. You enter the room to find several members of the Emerald Claw deep in contemplation. They acknowledge your entry, but continue with their vigil. I don't remember if there's a right way to go or not. Several hidden hand ah, they didn't fix it. A mage maintains a this room a was a tiny room, and then it got made a bit bigger. Ready? But this lamp over here got stuck in the air because it was on the wall over here, and then they moved this wall out, and the lamp stayed. <laughs> the portal closes when the mage falls. You've disrupted the Hidden Hand's ability to gather reinforcements in this area. Really? One of these again? Kill everything or the door is locked for some reason. There really should be like a little red glow around any enemy you have to kill and a red glow around the switch. And when you kill all the guys with the red glow, then the, the switch gets dispelled. It should be some kind of a logic connection, not just randomly. You have to kill this or it doesn't work. This floor breaks. This gate is securely fastened from the other side. But the nearby walls and floor are riddled with crap. Maybe you can find a way in and around. There's all the and were rats. You cracks. In my review, I keep on calling them war rats. You've stumbled into the sewers and into someone else's territory. Were rats hiss curses at you for invading their sewers.
Okay. Whoops. For some reason, uh, favor doesn't get updated properly when you finish a quest. You have to like log out and log back in to see it. Members of the Hidden Hand are trying to make their way past the wards on the nearby door without success. The traveler Thank disables you. the portal. Ah, oh, I basically went around the door. Revealing a warehouse decorated with large bells. You've arrived at an emerald claw base hidden deep in the heart of the city. If I remember right, there's like three switches in this room. A large gate bars yeah, three switches. to the heart of the Emerald Claw Complex. Too bad there's no, like, breakable monster manual. It entries you basically every kind of breakable in DDO. So this would be one of the types of breakables. Every kind of statue, barrel, box, crate, jug, anything that can break. I mean, I have it all under a single entry, well, breakables, but whatever. She gets some extra XP for total breakables. Having breakables as a part of your entry in the monster manual. The third crystal lights and the large metal portcullis open. Vessel is almost within your grasp, but then its guardian springs into action, ready to protect the artifact at any cost. Now that the guardian has been defeated, you can at last try to take the vessel. As you take hold of the vessel, Lady Vol's voice fills the room. As you can see, Faith in yourself can be a powerful thing. I will Bowl's help promise. you in what is to come. Though in truth, the power comes from within. Lady now the Lord of Blade, Bowl's you. promise. You have oh, obtained okay. the vessel, keeping it out of the hands of that foul interloper. I wish you the best of luck in your attempts to thwart the Whispered One. Okay. I guess this is kind of like a salt marsh where completing certain quests gives you certain like a buff or something. I'm not sure what it does, but whatever. Next. Wait. The evil we know. Did I do this one? Yeah, I think I did this one. Return to Sharn. High Priestess Valeria tells you to undergo the Trials of the Dark Six. Return to the center of the Hall of the Traveler once you have succeeded. Okay. No, I haven't done this one. Past the Wall of Water, you spy several Sahuadu and their trained creatures. The Trial of the Devourer has begun. So, this is the Dark Six, I guess. So Devour is one of the devout, the Dark Six. The trial is to kill uh, Sarhagen and all these kind of creatures underwater. Fine. Well, prop for making a cohesive story, I guess. Get the face off against all the different uh, different the names. Maintained by the Sawagin spellcaster dissipates. The captain chortles as you approach. He gestures for his minions to attack. Oh. 
This is also still part of the Devourer, I guess. The pirate captain kneels in defeat, indicating that the trial of the Devourer is complete. The Conch of Secrets emits a deep, echoing laugh. Guardian the of the Conch. Of rushing water comes from the center of the room. You are under attack. I guess I go back. Okay. That's all that was. What is this one? What a quick foot working for. The sounds of magical incantations, bubbling potions, and whirring machines fill this space. A distracted looking gnome in the center of the room motions for you to step up and speak. The gnome has left you to decide whether to challenge her directly or to seek aid from her assistance. The gnome knocks, then she barks an order, and the golem next to her rises. The trial of the shadow has begun. With the golem destroyed and the wizard defeated, you have completed the trial of the shadow. I have no idea what I just did now. I guess you can ask one of these to help you. Or whatever. Oh, nice. Big golem. Here's another place to take a picture next to a uh, clay golem. Wink, wink. Okay. Ah, I see. There's a mark above the top. Tells you which one you did. A telltale sound echoes from the chamber of the shadow. Traps! The trial has already begun! What? You can't swim inside of this acid? Eh. Lame. Blue is that red thing. Okay, fine. This one I can just spin until it opens. Well, that worked. Let's go back and see if I missed something interesting. Ah no, it's just the other wheel. And more enemies. Okay. Acid, acid. I'm just checking if some of them are deep. Iron key. The key turns. The lock disappears. And a ladder forms out of glowing green energy. Surprise it's not made out of acid just to burn your hands as you try to climb it. Oh, he died. Fine. I mean, I can cheese this and just jump across, but whatever. Collectible. Uh, this is deep acid. Very green. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Gold key. Give me a gold ladder. Nah. The flayed monk seems to grin as you climb onto his platform. He begins his assault. I guess you can fight here and then avoid taking damage.
Well, we're done here. So do we do all the six? Done, done. Oh, there's two more over here. I'm dead. As you enter the hall, Fine. Of the keeper, what's now? A mummy raises its crumbling arm. You realize it wants to speak with you. The mummy says you should deal with the four uncontrolled undead within the chamber of the keeper as you see fit. Was that supposed to mean? As I see fit. Okay. Trap, trap, trap. It's got to go this way if I don't want it to activate. And then this way, and this way. See, this one must go this way. I don't want it to go through there, so. I guess we go with this, then, then this one has to go down. This will flip. We'll go this way and this way. We'll go up and like this. Undead sealed. I just unlet them. Uh, I guess maybe I can unlock them? Or is it like fixed now? I wonder what happens if I activate the trap. Maybe if I activate the trap I have to fight them? I don't know. It can't go this way. I guess it has to go up. And then this way. And back down. Lock this off. Spin this. Yeah, I guess I'm just doing the puzzles. Let's see. That way won't work. It's gotta go this way. Flip this. This. Flip this like this. Hey, it doesn't touch, doesn't touch, doesn't touch. Fine. The mummy nods in approval after you finish his requested task. You have completed the trial of the key. Okay. So this center room has one, two, three, four, five. I guess the six will be the in the middle. Oh, sorry. Of the fury, and a voice booms out. Let the grand melee begin. <laughs> the grand Hearing melee. Combatants, leap from the stand and begin drawing. The 
last of the trio four. Only silence remains. You have completed the trial of the fury. You've completed the required trials. A voice booms out throughout the Basilica. Return to the center of the Hall of the Traveler for your final trial. Huh. The Optional challenge. Lopes to the center of the arena and gives a blood curdling howl. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Did I do all uh Standing among the statues in the Hall of the Traveler, you were surprised when they suddenly begin moving. The voice booms out once more. The final trial begins now. Doppelgangers. Okay. Silence falls over the Hall of the Traveler when the final doppelganger is defeated. You should speak with High Priestess Valeria once more. Okay. You have completed the trials of the Dark Six, earning the blessings of those sinister gods in your fight against the intruder Vector. Get help from all four assistants. The Trial of the Shadow. Okay. I have no idea what that is, but whatever. How much time? 12 minutes. Not bad. Okay. Next one. Oh, Kalit. You step out of the portal and into a small hidden cavern in Shavarath the plane of battle. You've come to enlist an unlikely pair of allies, the Archons and their sworn enemies, the Devils. The Archon and Devil commanders agree on one thing. They'll only help you if you help them against their common enemy, the Demons. Now, okay, to so clear out the demon-infested demons? bases they've described, you've arrived at the Archon's fortress, now overrun with demons. Judging from the damage, the Celestials did not give it up easily. Okay, so what, I have to go to like every room now and clear out monsters? I hope not. Well, another shrine. Fine. I guess I have to find two uh, two switches to pull. Great. Also change the code for this thing. How am I supposed to know what the code is? Oh, it's already in place. Not this one. Okay, number two is the one I want. So let's reset it. These three, and then this one. Oh, okay, fine. Trap box. Got it. Fine. So basically, step on all of them. Oh, sorry. Reset them all one time. This is how they reset. 
Now you go and you step on all of them once. And let's see, is it number two again? Yes. Where's the trap box? Okay, not bad. The door slides open with a satisfying click. I haven't stood inside of that AOE yet to see what it does. Is it? No D door to get me back. I have to walk back through the blades. No blades. Let's see what this does. Oh. Wait a second, so what did this do? Oh, I totally missed the chest over here. So this whole area is just optional. And no ingredients. They really should have pack ingredients in all these chests, at least one. Even if it's not critical for the... It's just an optional chest. Give me one. So I feel like uh, it's worth my time. Okay, what do we have here? One goes up, the other one goes down. Okay. The UI settings. Show, show. Where is it? Come on. There we go. Got rid of my creature companion name. So it looks now just like the fam the familiar. So now I have two pseudo dragons. Nightmare charges forward. Still want one of these as a mount. The nightmare collapses. And a new passage opens up in the wall. I can see this being a serious problem if you're doing this at level. Those Harazus usually hit really hard. Flesh render looks up and sneers. Mortals, descending mortals now. <laughs> this should be entertaining. The flesh render falls, babbling about its master's plans to use codex pages to conquer Shavarath. Anything else in here? Ah, so this basically just leads to here. Fine. I'm sure I missed things. Nice audience chamber. Oh, this one of three.
I have, to, uh, I have to do each one of them. Fine. The wreckage of countless battles chokes the entrance to this infernal fortress. That was a new animation on the door. It's all a shrine, but I guess it's upstairs. Yep, upstairs. Shrine. Hey, let's see what this side room has. Rumbling growls echo down the passage. This just loops around. Fine. Okay, two switches. Let's do this one first. The other one seems like a puzzle. With a fury that belies their small size, the dretches throw themselves into battle. This place has a top four. Freezing air announces the presence. Nice. Massive ice flakes. I know I'm missing stuff. I'm going to go back for it. Secret door. A hideous demon dominates this room, glaring down on what appears to be. The demon's legs okay. collapse, its flailing claws carving grooves into the floor. No chest in here? Okay. Curiosity is going to kill me, but how deep is this lava? That deep, huh? It's literally glitching out this place. Got to see if there's lava, on, if the lava on the other side has anything in it. Nope. Probably should go back up and do the optional. Because this looks like it's the main path. I know I said I want to do this as fast as possible, but I just can't resist the temptation of finding out what is there that this quest has to offer. Thing. Secret door. Hey, okay, I'm on the top floor now. Lock chest. No ingredients. Okay, fine. What else did I miss? I missed... These two sides. Huh. Okay. Is there any split in this place? Nope. You have to do each one of them individually. And 
Gotta go like this. And do this one now. And... Lock door. Complete the jumping challenge. Oh, great. Okay, fine. You pull the lever. Passages in multiple directions become available to you. We'll say one thing though. The jumping puzzles are designed by the devils. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's get out of here. Pretty sure I missed some stuff, but whatever. The Marilith draws her blades across one another dramatically, then slithers forward to attack. Hey, right, just another one of these for the monster manual. The dying Thank Marilith you. Rasps out. You can stop our master's plans. Shepherd will be ours. Both Abyssal Commanders refer to a master. Perhaps this portal will lead you to them. Demon Stronghold? Uh, I guess you have to finish both sides, I see. Shavala. Now to find the so-called master. Okay, two locked areas. Bank. Just to get up there someplace? Well, fine, see it. Massive demon looks down on you with seething disdain. Are you the mortals disrupting my plans? Do you really think yes, so? you can stop me from conquering Shabaroth? The demon cannot comprehend its defeat. No. Is there anything in here? Pages? If I only had. Nope. The pages! You are strong. But soon. The armies of the Abyss will be at my call. With the Codex pages that Vector has promised me, countless demons will be at my disposal. With the demons' plans thwarted and the fortresses reclaimed, it's time to report your success to the Celestial and Infernal Commanders. I the... With the oaths of both the Devils and the Archon secured, it's time to return to Eberron. See? 16 minutes. Not bad. Hey, and I guess we'll do this one. Oh, rats. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Fine. Do I have any my thing in the ship set up? Yep. Quickly uh repair and sell.
So far, no name loot except for the augment they pulled in the first run. Okay. Top deck. Sharn. Well, actually, I should probably just use this for once. See where it goes. Really? This is where it sends you? This is not where I wanted to go to. I guess the Morgrave teleporter doesn't really send you where you want to go. I hope they fixed that. Because it should send it to here, not there. Yeah, right over here is where you should be sent to. Did I finish these? That was the first video, second video. What I'm doing right now, second part. This guy, I guess this is the quest. Oh, I think I did this one on the uh, Lavania. Yep. Your allies have already begun their attack on the Hidden Hand headquarters. You should speak with your United Forces contact. The scout says that the United Forces assault on the Hidden Hand's headquarters is already underway. You can take advantage of your allies' attack to carve your way through the enemy base. See, what is it I need? What am I looking for, actually? All right, I just need to get past these guys. The hand of Vecna has fallen. You can now reach the lever that opens the way leading deeper into the complex. What did that open? Oh, downstairs? Some kind of lever for this? I'm curious. Oh, come on. On the lever. Found another lever. This is one of those switch hunting quests. Hit a lever, find another lever, etc., etc. Who do I need to kill to drop a shield on that lever? Oh, this guy, I have Vecna. Okay, that will give me access to this is where I came from. No, it's got to open up something here. This is an opening. Oh, here.
Not sure what's up with this quest. Is there like multiple ways or is it just uh, kind of like little optional rooms? I don't know. Feels kind of all over the place. Oh hi. This script could be used to create an entire army of skeletons and zombies. Best to put an end to the wear rat necromancer before that happens. Anything in here? Just from the breakables. Breakable, sarcophagi, whatever, fine. Move on. Shrine, collectible. You've reached the heart of the fortress. You spy a cleric up above. It seems to be the cult's leader, conducting some kind of ritual. The heart of Vecna orders his minions to attack. To your surprise, these include the eye and hand of Vecna, both alive and well. No doubt they've been resurrected by their leader. The high, the, <laughs> the eye and hand of Vecna. Heart of Vecna turns, surprised to see that you found a way to reach him. The leaders of the Hidden Hand are dead, and the cult in the city has been completely routed. Now to find the information you came for. Where is Vecna? You find the answer in the heart of Vecna's desk. Vecna has traveled to a fortress in the Astral Plane conduct a ritual. A ritual that will give him dominion over all of Eberron. Six minutes. Not bad. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. This way. Yeah, so that was one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I did the first three, the second five. And I guess I'm going to stop here just to cut the video so it doesn't become massive. And I guess I'll continue my one set playthrough of all in the next part. And yeah. See you then. Bye.